Hey guys. Hey, Kellen. What's with the giant doll? Oh, it's our brand new super host. Okay. What kind of Bible story do you have for us today? I have a biblical one. <laughs> Get it? Because <laughs> it's the Bible. <laughs> Never mind. Let's hop to it. Today, we're looking at the very beginning of the Bible when God created humans. It's in Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. But before we get there, let me set the stage for you. Right before creating people, God created the world. He created light out of darkness. He created the sky. He created the entire universe. God saw that everything he created was good. Then God said, let us make human beings so that they are like us. Whoa. Did you catch that? The first thing God ever says about people is that he wants to make us to be like him. Now that's cool. Next, God said, let them rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. Let them rule over the livestock and all the wild animals. And let them rule over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself. He created them as male and female. God made us in his own likeness. Or sometimes we say God made us in his image. That means we can learn a lot about ourselves by getting to know God better. And we can also learn more about God from the people we see around us. It's not just when you look up at the stars or see a beautiful sunset that you can feel closer to God. You can see God all around you in everyday moments. You can see how God loves to be in relationship with us, how he loves us, how he teaches us, and how he takes care of us. We can see God's heart when people are kind and loving to one another. You can learn a little bit of how joyful and fun God is when we spend time with our friends. And here's the deal. God is creative. He's strong and brave. He's extremely smart, but he's also gentle and caring. And that's just to name a few of many amazing things that come from our Heavenly Father. All of us, even with our differences of appearance, of skills, of personalities and passions, we are all made in the image of God. Wow, that's spectacular. That, that makes me feel really special and important. It should. Every person on this planet is incredibly valuable because we were made in the image of God. Amazing. Thanks, Kellen. You got it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Kellen. Wow. It's, it's crazy to think that I, John, of the Basement Studio, am a carrier of God's image. Yeah. Uniquely and wonderfully made. A child of God. Yeah. Seriously, this is amazing. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I am. I just, I'm just realizing how much our ultra super host maybe wasn't such a good idea. Oh? No, I, I'd rather have a co-host who is made in God's image, one who can talk and play games and blink. Someone like a... <laughs> Someone like you, pal. I can't do that without moving my lip. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great host. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah. So, uh, what most about my hosting skills reminds you I was made in God's image is my good looks, my, my sense of humor, mm. is my minty fresh breath. <sighs> yeah. Reveal the question! How would you describe God? <laughs> That's a big question. Yeah. Kellen gave us lots of great examples, like the way God loves us, or how he's brave and smart and gentle. But, well, like he said, that was only a few descriptions. Mm -hmm. What pops out in your mind when you think of God? And we will see you guys next time. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm...